Your boy. Merp. Uh, My name's Merp. Yeah. I also go by Cordis. Not much else though. Yeah. Koros. Koros. Alright, we're starting a new universe, right? Yeah. This is a new universe. Alright, you wanna read the descriptions? Or are you gonna record or I am recording. Oh snap. It Alright. It... <laughs> read your read your uh read your opening card. Okay. In the eons since the first primitive Renari communities took shape in the archipelagos and lagoons of Ren, our civilization has spread and prospered. Alas, our ancestors were victims of ignorance and, su and superstition in the early eras. This dark period of our history lasted until science and rationality were firmly established as the guiding principles of our, of our society. A new democratic system of government was introduced where important decisions were made by, cons by consensus. Now, after the discovery of the Hyperlane Network, the finest minds of Renar te uh, of, yeah, Renar Technocracy have finished development of the first hyperdrives. The stars themselves are finally within our grasp. Nice. Mine's technically like the same thing. Yeah, because we're both playing very similar empires. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, bet. Alright, uh, same thing except, um... Through scientific process, we managed to stamp out all the superstitions that ruled our, the minds of our ancestors. As reason and rational thought spread among our people, the insufficient nation states that we have had until then organized ourselves into were disbanded in a council of our most accomplished scientists were gathered to rule in their stead. Let's begin. Woo. All right. Uh, before you um. Just pick our pick our research first. <laughs> oh yeah, true. Ooh, AR AI. Research speed a hundred. Where's my science chip at? Did the game start you off with zero minerals? Oh wait, never mind. I built something already. That's what's going on. Apparently, that's what's going on. Yeah, that's the what's birth going of on. the new universe. Oh wait, I should probably, uh, you know, explore with the science ship. That's probably something we should and do. <laughs> it's right around the corner. It's time to explore more. Do you want to know where I am? Or are we keeping Actually, that a yeah. secret too? Okay. Um, if you look northeast, uh, okay, southeast, um, right next to the grasping claw nebula. Chief, like you on the other side of the galaxy. Sad. <laughs> it's it's unfortunate, but that's how it's gonna be. <laughs> I'm really sorry about that though. Big sad. Yeah, the other one, they spawned us right next to each other. Yeah, weird. the Battle Royale. Battle oh, Royale. Oh, spoils. Spoils. Hey, they don't know that. They don't know that. They don't know that. Shh. What do they not know? I can't say it or else they'll know. <laughs> if I say it, it won't happen. <laughs> oh, true. True, true, true. Remember that? Yeah, yeah. You, I think you know where that comes from. It's time for bra 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 bra. The ISS Minigap the Humble has made a startling find on Tamada 3. The planet is teeming with alien life. For the first time in history, we have encountered life forms that did not originate in Vern. This amazing discovery has silenced those who believe we were alone in the universe. Although none of the alien creatures found on uh, Tamada 2 are sapiens, it is likely only a matter of time before we encounter beings that are. Like, wait until you're done talking. So yeah. Pause. You're cool. It's cool. Are you doing the thing where you're building, like, multiple science ships and construction ships? That's actually a good idea. 
Cause expansion. Gonna need to expand as much as we can. Expand. Take what's, uh, take what's not clean. True facts. Okay, okay, hold on. I am... I am right next to Shadow Nebula on the galaxy map. Okay. Our first stumbling steps into the void beyond Riverin were not motivated solely by curiosity or a desire to conquer the unknown or a need to leave our mark in the, on the galaxy. The biosphere on Vrin has undergone rapid changes in the past few centuries, and prominent scientists warn that Vrin may be faced with the beginnings of a mass extinction event that, that uh, cyclical purging of life that is inseparable from planetary extinction uh, existence in the greater cosmos. A research plan has been put together to study a number of planets require, uh, rendered uninhabitable by major astronomical incidents or planet-bound catastrophes. We hope that by reconstructing these events, a similar fate may be avoided for Vrin and the, Re the Re Renari race. Huh. So, uh, global warming has affected my... Global warming? Yeah, global warming has affected my, uh, my empire. <laughs> so... No, we're trying to study. Um, Ooh, I found a really big habitable planet. Sorry. Uh, we now know without a doubt that a thriving biosphere is not something unique to Tyrat. Both the scientific community and public at large are e eager to learn more about the various forms of alien life found throughout the galaxy. Efforts to catalog the life forms we encounter are already underway, but our xenobiologists urged us to focus on our planetary survey efforts on a on habitable habitable uh, habitable life bearing worlds. Thanks. Hey you gotta watch or your pillows will become rocks. Oof. That's what your That's what your Twitch notification says. Oh yeah yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Would you consider yourself an introvert yeah, or an extrovert? Well, I don't know you in real life, but you seem kind of like a quiet guy, so I'd say an introvert. A little bit. Kind of. If I had to guess. If I had to guess. Gosh. Alright, I got three places right now. Three? Yeah. Oh, you mean sectors? No, like, um, three, uh, places I built, or expansion, whatever. Yeah, that's, that's what that meant, yeah. Oh. I have, I've, I've at two right now, but I'm gonna expand to, like, three or four soon. When I can. System survey complete. I don't know, I'm kind of working my way to the galaxy, or, I mean, the Shadow Nebula, because that's just... To the shadow nebula. Shadow realm, for sure. A planet in this system still wears the fossilized traces of a past ecology on its sleeve. What could turn a thriving biosphere into a bla into a blasted wasteland? A, a special project has been issued to trace the source of its disastrous transformation. Situation complete. Um, immense rage, ragged plains of, sh of shadow drift across uh, the planet uh, planet base. They are cast not only by clouds, but by sheets of organic material drifting through the upper layers of the atmosphere, hinged or rather jointed to allow a small degree of articulation. The science officer is yet is as yet unwilling to say whether these things are flora or fauna or whatever possible purpose their elaborate shadow casting much serve. I'm in the shadow realm. Bro, it spawned me in the shadow realm. That's what that's where it's that's where it's You're in the shadow realm. Yeah, I'm in the shadow realm. I'm gonna banish you to the shadow realm. Ooh. <laughs> I don't think tribal would ever say it. <laughs> Why not? He's hip with the kids. Kidding. <laughs> Bro, he destroys kids. Like, he, he bodies kids. 
Kai Labog is good. How do I even gain more inventory? Uh, just slowly but surely, I guess. Where is that citizen that though? I'm about to go into a second planet soon. Yo, I have found no, uh, what's it called, habitable planets, which is unfortunate. Sad. The structures on NS2 are not as old as we first believed. It seems to be a playground or amusement park of some sort. Science officer Corin notes that many of the con uh, contraptions are highly complex creations that we can learn much from uh, and that, to the builder's alien eyes, this might have been a cutting-edge sensor array or even a giant art installation. Regardless, to us Renari, it looks mostly like a place where you would take you're young and let them amuse themselves. Fun. Fun. Ooh. Intelligent life taunts with pointed absence. Reads a popular news net post on Vren. The people of Renar Technocracy are apparently finding some humor in the fact that lower forms of alien life are now a matter of public record, but potential uh, equals from other stars continue to elude us. Science officer Korn's report on the tracers found on NS2 seemingly only add an ironic twist to the situation. I, I guess we still think we're kind of alone, well like, we're the only intelligent ones. Right across the galaxy, on the other side. Yeah. Hey guys, stop the galaxy! It's your boy Pillow. Galaxy push. Ooh, I got robotic workers already. Yeah. Why? Sick. How did you get that? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> How did you get that? How did you get that? I got AI research team, that's about it. I mean, something AI. Oh, I got the mummified remains. The mummified remains of a single individual belonging to a previously unknown mammalian species have been found drifting in high orbit over NS1. The being is dressed in what appears to be a flight suit complete with a helmet and maybe a fighter pilot that ejected from some ancient battle only to be forgotten and left behind. Sad. Big sad. Real sad boy hours. Yep. All the sad boy hours. Yo, 67 months remaining. Gosh. What are the signs? Good question. They're uh, taking drugs. A colossal impact tends to be big collided the surfaces of this planet once. Research it. This fucking right, mosquito. I'm a research lab. This mosquito. I'm gonna fight it. Did you find it? No. It keeps flying away every time I look at it. Do I want to colonize this now? Because if you colonize planets early on, I'm pretty sure it uh, um, reduces your research speed. I could be, I could be, I could. More planets always speed up research. Should have got breakfast. <sighs> well, I just ate lunch, so. Life on the now barren planet was sadly doomed from the start. As if by some cruel stellar conspiracy, the dominant species on the planet barely had time to awaken to sapiens and invent agriculture before, through unfortunate geological me um, mechanisms, the earth started turning sour. Samples from lower s soil centra, uh, sorry, stra strata, and the fossilized remains of the creatures that once roamed the planet show that several vital minerals needed to re rejuvenate the, so the soil ended up uh, through their large agricultural diet 
in the endoskeletons of native beings. Their bones were prone to fossilize rather than, than decay, and their very existence exhausted the fragile ecosystem they inhabited, leaving it permanently transformed in the wake of their passing. Damn. Oh, this one found two planets, but they're unlivable. It's unfortunate. What kind of planets are they? They're like um, tundra and tropical. Sad. Are you an arid? Um, it's tropical. You like tropical planets? Yeah. So potentially, I could find them. Well, the science ship has to research a planet before oh, yeah. it tells you if it's habitable or not. Yeah. Yeah, it's not done yeah. surveying. Yeah. Has to research a planet. Do your research. Alright, I'm gonna call research it. Research is around the corner. Uh. another research lab so that I can get all the research. There we go. Ooh, more stuff. Yo, I better get some mad research. After the study of Unit 5 has concluded, science, science Officer Ross reports that they have found the planet to be unusually rich in minerals. This discovery is made possible in large part thanks to a certain member of the ISS Kashnik, the, the, uh, the patient crew. Ross praises the prodigy highly. Where was that? That was way up there. Oot. Do I want to expand that? I'm not sure. Hmm. Welcome home. <laughs> Me? Oh snap! Oh, what? This is my cards. System survey. Watch it be my taxes. That'll be unfortunate. You pay taxes? No, not yet. If okay. it is. <laughs> oh snap, it's my cards. Hey. Hey. You got Yu-Gi-Oh cards? Yeah. Ordering singles is way cheaper than buying packs. Oh yeah, all shiny. Yeah, yeah. This deck is gonna be on fleek. I'm oh, sorry. What kind of deck is it? To... It's a it's a true deck, true little true Draco deck. Yeah. You? Nah. What's your book? Uh. It's Dale. His name is Dale. Dale. Anyway, uh, go ahead. Sorry. Okay. I'm sorry. You're fine. I'm having a conversation. You're fine. Alright. <laughs> oh snap, my colony ship actually finished. Oh whoa, what's this? <laughs> oh whoa. Stop it now, stop it. It looks like I have a little note here. First class mail. Uh, Construction complete. That's my point, please. Research complete. Stack with stack. Construction complete. Are you about to, like, crush your enemies? Uh, almost. Potentially. Colonization in 
progress. Yeah, I'm about to unlock Robot Wars, which is mad lit. Solid. I'm gonna unlock those in nine months. Nice. Eight months. Um, oh, it's not. Wait, wait, wait. Um, a vault is a tomb for hopeful immortals. The science officer asserts, I don't know how to state my officer's name, sorry, that, um, that the huge blocks of ternary code found in the data banks are neural images, digitalized brain scans. Doubtlessly, the aliens, whatever, uh, considered this to be their only shot at at any kind of survival following whatever calamity befell their planet. They did not have the means to resurrect themselves, but banked on the impossibility, small hope that eventually someone else would have those means. Dude, I found a kite. Found a what? It looks like a kite in space. That's what I'm gonna call it, the kite. Somebody moving the camera. Ooh, finish research. Construction is the completest. Is it the completest? Situation update. Research speed, hurry up. I just realized something. I am speed, and speed is me. That is what I have realized. Wow, mass extinction. Uh, not noxious planet. Allegedly, this planet's flora and fauna choked on their own poisonous e emissions, likely helped along by the release of reactive gases from, be from beneath the planet's crust. So, the plants killed themselves. Situation That's actually not a good, good job, plants. You played yourself. <laughs> yeah. You played your entire race. Robot workers on fleek. Gaining minerals, it is on point. That's not much. Hold on. What the fudge? Ooh. An abandoned life pod was detected in close orbit of Yaxv... Uh, 
Via. It is covered in scorch marks, presumably from the pod's mothership. Presumably from when the pod's mothership exploded. And preliminary scans suggest it was built more than 5,000 years ago. The crew at the ice estimated gap of the humble managed to open the pod, revealing the withered remains of a reptilian alien, alien clad in, uh, in a uniform. Clutched one of his claws, a small picture of another individual of the same race, possibly a mate or, or a revert beetle. Yikes. A disease hit a planet and just wiped their entire empire. So it was the Death Plague, except for empire-wide cheese. Cheese! Huh. Okay, let me read this. Someone used a mining laser from orbit approximately 5,000 years ago to carve a large body of writing into the surface of Rolon 1. The massive script covers a large portion of the planet's upper hemisphere, and appears to be a very short story, a uh, chron chronicling the difficult life of an alien mercenary. Oh, oh. interesting. I uh, can track, so I'm I'm like oh I didn't realize we had a pause, um, so I had a what was I gonna say? I have this thing where I'm trying to research other planets that went extinct, uh, so that I could keep my own planet from going extinct, and I can track those planets even though I haven't discovered where they are yet. Like, I haven't discovered the space around them. A new faction has been recently gaining traction in the internal political landscape of the Reinhardt Technocracy. Led by scientist Corin, they call themselves the Committee of Research Efficiency. Their members have been pushing hard for the advancement of the sciences. A disgruntled faction will be a source of trouble, but one that approves of the government's actions could prove useful. Interesting. Oh, we have another one, called Knights of the Void. Their members have been pushing hard for us to assert our military dominance over the rest of the galaxy. They say that, and then we're so weak. <laughs> yeah, true, because we haven't built up an army yet. It's like, what you would... Do you believe in alien life, Philip? Maybe. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know what's out there, but there's no proof of it yet. It's so hard to see. <laughs> what are you looking for? Oh, I found I ran into my first alien alien model. Oh you did? Um, cool. Yeah. And uh they look as if they don't like me. Sounds They're right nice to me too, which is unfortunate. For some reason, someone has towed an asteroid into the stable orbit around uh, Tibicor Lop. The massive engine sections and braking thrusters can still be found on the surface, although they may have long since been rendered inoperable. Whoever did this also mined the asteroid for minerals, but these operations were seemingly abandoned shortly after they began. Complete. 
Oop, I found people. News of alien ships humming through the ether have reached Rin. In many ways, I mean the first chapter in the book of the Rin Hard Titan. Oop, okay. Hi, people. Hold on. We are receiving a transmission from the Hasgun Empire. They appear to have successfully translated our language. Diplomatic channels are now open, and all hostilities between us have, cro have ceased for the moment. Our warriors salute you, alien creatures. I speak on behalf of Arab of Emperor Ethard I, the undisputed ruler of the Hothgum Empire. Respect our borders and keep out of the Hothgum affairs, and perhaps our mighty fleets will restrain from visiting your wretched worlds. Our warriors salute you, Hothgumans. Oh, I found another one. These guys are going to be friends with me. Yo, I need a friend at the moment. These guys don't like me. Oh. 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 Yeah. Ha 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 ha. Ha. Ha ha ha. I beat some uh, empires to the space race. Yo, the guys that hate me are literally going to die because they're trapped in a corner. I just found my first planet. My first colony. System survey complete. System survey complete. I have enemies. It's kind of expected by now. Yeah, but I have two enemies. How did they beat you? They just don't like us. Yeah, we got border friction now. They don't like us even more. Yay, I have a colony now. I do too now, I think. <laughs> I hope. How far are we? Uh. Recycling is good. Yeah. Wow. Just gonna finish research. Give me a second. Uh, boop. Actually, no. Boop. There we go. Construction 
System survey complete. Amazingly, while conducting their survey of LJG001B, the crew of the ISS Cache Patient picked up several life signs coming from within the asteroid. There appears to be a colony of large burrowing worm like uh litheroves within the rock, which have been riddled with tunnels. These unique life forms have somehow adapted to a life in the coldness of space. Here's a geological sur survey of Bathar La, that might be 3A, by the ISS Mitigap the Humble reveals nothing of interest. Oops. In fact, it is extraordinary, uh, extraordinarily uninteresting. Its only defining feature is its lack of defining features. <laughs> there are depressions and evolutions, yes, but on the whole surface of uh, Bathar 3A can be regarded as unnaturally flat. Likewise, the native flora and fauna are strikingly docile and unworthy of attention. That's good, I guess. It's only the fighting feature is its lack of fighting features. <laughs> I love it. I love this game. It's great. What do you mean, I guess, mister? I sat here for nine hours and played Solaris. <laughs> you're not wrong. You're not wrong. You got me here, so you didn't have to, though. <laughs> you didn't have to, though. Oh, but I did. Mm, I did. Yeah. yeah. Could have rubbed their hands together like an evil madman. My fleet is trash. <laughs> I've upped my System fleet a bit. It's still I didn't do, but it's still bad. It's still just Corvettes, but uh. Yeah, Corvette. Corvette Nation, where you at? Yeah. But now I'm not nearly as weak. Well, these guys are still overwhelming. Please don't. Oh, fuck me. I think, uh, but I turned advanced neighbors off, so they can't be that uh, far. Now, it's, now that's come up. No, I didn't turn them off. I turned, no, I turned advanced AI on, but I turned advanced neighbors off, and these guys are right next to me. Like how mad spice? What's your power? Um, three twenty-eight. I probably have one more ship than you do. Mine's at three fifty-seven. Mm. 
While conducting surface scans of Alcor uh, 9, I believe. No, it's something. Science officer Cord and the crew of ISS Mitigatha Humble discovered what appears to be an artificially carved slab of rock covered in alien writing. They have not, det they have not detected any other signs of alien activity on the planet, and exactly how this mural came to be here is a mystery. Situation log updated. Construction complete. Solid. Ooh, we have, detected, we have detected the presence of a primitive alien civilization on Alcor 4. Yes, I know that one. In the Alcor system. They appear to be in, in the later stages of a Bronze Age, having mastered early metalworking. Although most of the population is rural, I, I hate that word, several large city states have formed. We should consider building an observation post above the world to study them more closely. Yo, I wilded out on that. I'm abducting those people. <laughs> like a typical alien. Did you already find one? No, no, no. Like, it was like the last game. Oh. First game I played. But that, that was like some farm. We've been live for an hour, which is actually quite wild. Have we now? Yeah. Bubblegum Simulator. All right. I'm gonna. Wild. Oh, solid. I'm gonna end it here. Then we we'll start right up. So, uh, right. catch you guys in the next one. If you like, hit subscribe. Check out my boy Pillow. See hey, you next time. A lot of stuff out. happens in this episode.